Welcome ladies and gentlemen, um, this is uh, the Pisces reading for the month of November. I want to say thank you for being back, thank you for being here. Okay, so whatever is happening and transpiring in this month, a couple could be going into jail. Mm. Yep. A married couple could be going to jail, ladies and gentlemen. Hmm. You Pisces have to be aware of what is transpiring. Do you see this energy that is coming out? This is like, uh, um, it's the energy of uh, a couple that some sort of an issue could be going on where this couple could be going to a jail, okay? Alrighty. So I see some regrets about a new love or um, about relationships. So you Pisces uh, um, who were seeing an Aries Leo or a Sagittarius person, you regret. You regret a situation. Is this person passed away? No, but you regret a situation. So it could be a mom. So whatever is happening and transpiring, um, this person could be sick and um, you're worried about this person or something is happening to this person and you're really emotional, upset over what is happening to this person with this person at this moment. So it could be, and, and, and a lot of emotions is coming up for you Pisces who are connected to a fire sign woman, whoever this fire, this fire sign woman is and whatever is transpiring. Um, too much, um, regrets is here. Um, if it's your wife or your mom, someone you were dealing with, there is too much regrets with you and this person. It could be an ex lover. Um, you're going to be finding out that this woman is driven by um, the devil itself. So Pisces, I don't know who this woman is. It could be a sister. It could be a friend. It could be a family member. But you're going to be realizing that this person is really um, out of their minds. And I see that you're going to be overcoming um, the situation that this person have gotten you in. So a lot of you, there's a lot of regrets. Regret with a new love that you had connected with. You're regretting um, this situation so much. And I see you ladies are standing your ground. So, and I see you ladies are going to be speaking up and saying no, no more, I don't want to be in this relationship anymore. Then I see um, some of you are going to be protecting yourself and standing your ground from someone who you have met um, lately because you realize that this person um, frequency and energy is not. I see, I see you're going to be using the sword of truth against, hey, um, a situation you're going to be standing up and you're going to be winning Pisces and you're going to be winning against a fire sign person keepers of the scale fairness and balance is the energy of this month and I see a couple could be going to jail I don't know ladies and gentlemen that is not resting um, it is a couple whoever this couple is and whatever this couple have done they could be going to jail. So be aware of this. Okay. Yep. Mm. All right. So the first week is a we is good. A cycle is over. Some of you were dealing with some sort of an issue, um, some sort of a competition and um, a whole lot of uh, work. Um, this, um, this, um, um, it's as if the spirit is now over. Okay. So there was a whole lot of work, a whole lot of problems, a whole lot of work and all of the issue, a whole lot of situation that was transpiring. And this is now over. 
Um, so you have earth, fire, another hurt, and fire. Oh my god. Um, Pisces, so wow. So you have hurt, fire, hurt, and fire. Amazing, amazing, amazing. I see some of you are going to be really protecting yourself from a fire sign woman and is realizing how horrible this fire sign woman is and that this fire sign woman had created so much issue for you and I see you regret every moment and the love that you had for this fire sign person is not anymore. You regret every moment and I see some of you are going to be standing and speaking to this fire sign person and letting this person know that, hey, you have done me wrong and you have done me um, a whole lot of wrong. But yet still, I'm always there for you. But now this is over. And I see you're going to be successfully overcoming the issue that was created. I see um, there was a Libran that was trying to create some sort of a, um, what is that? Some sort of a competition with you and I see you're standing your ground and just um really standing your ground and letting this person said no it's not happening I don't think so so let it go because um this is it and I see you're really standing your ground um because there is some sort of a competition I see you're going to be very successful and not only success but happiness and joy um you're going to be having this huge success of life, happiness and joy um, that is going to be returning in your life because you're letting someone know you have gone too far and you're taking down a person. Um, and some of you are just really standing your ground. A lot of opportunities is going to be coming in and a lot of people are protecting their, um, you know, if you, if, if, if you marry, people are protecting your family. Whatever is happening and transpire, your married people are, are going to be protecting your family. There is some sort of a situation that is going on with a Libran. Um, and a Libran is definitely going to go to jail. Whether or not you know this Libran, um, they're going to be going to jail. Okay, so let's go in. I don't know what was that message for who was that message. So a cycle is over for a couple. Hmm. Some divorce. Yeah. Whoever this couple is and whatever is transpiring. And some sort of unexpected um opportunity business is going to be coming in and this is going to be wonderful um then we see the four of cups regrets your regrets is going to be over because you stood your ground against some sort of an emotional situation especially you women that was happening and transpiring you women or just people on a all stand their grounds some of you were seeing multiple partners and i see um, you're going to be choosing for your wife. So whoever was seeing multiple partners, I see you're going within and you're going to be thinking, I'm staying with my wife. And you know, all these chickies, um, and it, it, it is because you really finding out that you have been roaming the place. Your wife has been good and you got involved with a fire sign woman and this nearly let you lose your life and your wife and family and you're going within and I see you're going to be deciding to choose for your wife so people that is having multiple um see multiple people um you're going to be choosing for your wife whatever that was happening and transpiring you're definitely going to be choosing for your wife because you're going to be realizing um that uh, the you know the Roman is not helping you it only costs you a lot of money because you have so many little chickies that you have to help out financially. So I think that some of you are seeing and realizing that hard time is about to come up on you and you're letting go down of all the side chicks. So I see that you men and women who have 
but it's mostly yeah you men that have a hole on a side peach chick you're going to be letting them there on one by one and choosing for your wife a cycle is over and i see you're going to be communicating this uh, um and telling these women i you know i'm choosing my wife i'm choosing for my wife but don't expect to return because they're going to be moving on so you men be aware of this second week a whole lot of opportunities is going to be coming in um for couples who have a business or run a business a whole lot of opportunity is going to be coming in for this um couple it's as if the universe have seen this couple gone through so much and they are going to be lifting the gates of uh, prosperity and abundance for this couple a lot of you have you and your partner has gone through so much and finally 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 is as if the wheel of fortune is saying hey the cycle is now ended and here i'm giving you a new beginning and you are just going to be turning down the cup of love and focusing on your family your relation and the people around you so this is going to be good um the wheel of fortune is bringing back some emotional situation from the past and whatever is transpiring i see a whole lot of you are going to be choosing um a cancer some sort of a relationship or connection whether this cancer was your partner um or it was an ex-partner what this person is coming back with some um some and you're like no back away I, I no really uh no it's not happening too much drama you're too drama i don't need this drama in my life uh, let it go because you're too drama so i see um this is really coming up uh, where I, you know you're like there's too much drama that is going on i don't need all this drama in my life so i'm standing my ground um in the third week a balance so the first week and second week is going to be the best week for you guys the first week and second week is going to be the best week for you guys even though there is some sort of a regrets and the regrets has to do with some sort of competition that was going on and you were just not um you you were not happy with this competition and whatever that was transpiring you were just not happy and I see this is happening and transpiring. Um, so temperance is here. A whole lot of balance. Temperance is coming up and a whole lot of balance. Um, that is happening and transpiring. Some balance is, is transpiring. The queen of wands. I see that some of you had some sort of an issue. Who is this lady? Um, is it your mom? Is it who is this lady? But this lady is really negative. Do you see the energy of the devil over this lady? It's not a very nice lady. Um, whoever this lady is, I've done some injustice, but you still successfully overcome this woman and the deceptive situation that this lady have created in your life. It was not a nice lady. We can't see who she is. We only know that she is 45 years and older. And she is a Aries, Leo, or a Sagittarius, a, a really horrible person that has put some of you Pisces. And yeah, some of, sometimes it's your mom, but really, um, it, it, it is karma between you and your mom, um, that is going on. This could be a sister. This could be, um, yeah, name it. Whoever this person is, I praise you through a whole lot of issues and you're regretting that these things have transpired. The competition is over between a Libran. Um, I see that some of you, whoever this Libran is and whatever is transpiring, um, I see some of you are going to be trying to figure out a way to um, heal some sort of a relationship. A whole lot of you are going to be standing your grounds. There is no question. A whole lot of you are bringing a cycle to a relationship and ending a relationship once and for all. Um, someone is coming back from the past. Some sort of an issue uh, is coming back from the past. And some of you are going to be finding out that 
whoever um, is coming back from the past or it's as if some of you regret not taking someone serious um, in the past. Whoever this person is, it was your soulmate. And now you found out that that was your soulmate. And this person has gone. Um, this person is in um, so, um, solution. And this person has uh, um, realized that you were not ready um, to be in a soulmate relationship. And they have gone and they've cut you uh, loose. Um, and I see that you're trying to connect with um, someone and they, 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 they do not want to reconnect. It's kind of sad because this was a soulmate or a twin flame that some of you had, had met in the past. And uh, you got screwed up because someone manipulate a situation, making it look as if the fire sign was the person. And they, they shade you. And what we mean by shade you is that they create an illusion for you to think that the fire sign person was your the love of your life or was your soulmate or twin flame. And whoever you are, you knew the day you met this person that they were your twin flame or um, and you you were afraid. And now you're realizing, Jesus, I have made the wrong decision. Um, a fire sign came and full your head um, up with a whole lot of stuff, uh, pretending to be they manipulated a situation and used negative forces. And some of you had choose for a fire sign person. They lied. And now you're seeing the truth and realize that you have missed the love of your life. And your twin flame and your twin flame was the other person. And I see that now some of you are really, really, really going in meditation and thinking, I got to stop. I got to stop with all of these women. I got to stop with all of these men. Now I'm realizing that my soulmate was here and this person had gone because I was... Uh, so flirting around with each and every person and next the next best person that came and there it is i lost the moment i've been waiting for and it is a wake up call a lot of you men are going to be awoken um because you realize that because of uh, you um you know sleeping around being around and the next best chick, you miss the moment that you have been long waiting for in your life. And um, you're realizing that this moment will never return. And it's sad. A lot of you are hoping for a love, the love of your life to return. I see that the universe brought you women a true love. And you women, um, it's as if you women stand away from this person. And, uh, and now this person is gone. And you, 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 you are regretting it. But yet still, I see you men are using the sword of truth. It's as if... Uh, you men went within and connect with your spirit guides and your spirit guides is uh, um, letting you know that they came for you. Your soulmate, your twin flame came for you. And because of you running around, playing around, that person left. You saw too many little fishes in the sea. You were so with all the fishes in the sea. And this person, because the angels and guides have sent this person in the past. 
and whatever is to inspire you you guys are going within a realizing oh my god um because i was just all over the place i never take um you know a good look at this person because this was a twin flame relationship for some of you and you regretted it now a lot of you ladies is going to think about ending a relationship um it doesn't make any sense because there's too much the competition but it's as if some of you men are saying yeah but the competition is over but i see a cancer who was having some sort of a competition um with some of you pisces woman or a man it's going to be over i see some of you regretted ever having any connection with a cancer you regret the day you have ever had any um the love affair the affair with a cancer you regret the day you ever did it um then i see uh, some of you are trying to heal a situation because some of you were dealing with um a leo woman and you regret the day you regret so much that you have gone and gotten involved with this woman you are now seeing that this woman was sent to you um by negative forces and now you're understanding because you realize that your soulmate is gone you will never ever speak to this person until you um return and i see this person is going to be um what are you transform to the um fourth dimension fifth dimension um because right now where you were you were carrying that energy a lot of you were carrying that energy because you were working with the shadow side and you were working through that energy and i see your twin flame realize that you were not ready for this relationship you you, you were just not ready for this relationship and a lot of you are going to be looking back at your lifetime, your love life and that sort of a thing and realizing I messed up and I messed up big time. You messed up and you messed up big time. Um, I see that some of you are going to be realizing that uh, um, the love affair you had with... Um, with a Leo was, 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 had ruined your life. I, you know, really, really ruined your life. It, it was something that has, as as created and, 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 and created so much situation had really, really ruined your life. And however this is happening and transpired, I see a lot of you are going to be speaking um and just telling this person look um you know i could have made something better of my life and it could be your mom it could be your mom that some of you are really really telling your mom the truth how um your mom have treated you and how you felt the way you know she have treated you and I see some sadness is coming up. And I see you're really speaking up and said, look, um, for whatever relationship, I see some of you, your mom is just not speaking to you and you're living in the same house. And, um, it's like your mom is not offering you any love at all. Um, your mom is, she doesn't speak you anymore it is it is a sad situation that is going on and you're really regretting what you have done whatever you have done i see the love is not there between you and your mom anymore um something that your mom has found out uh, that she, you know she could not really uh, really believe that you would have uh, done some sort of a uh, injustice and i see um the conversation is that i think you're speaking to your mom and you're really 
saying, um, you know, I have been here and I've done everything that I can for you. I've given up my life to be here and to help you out. And I see sadness there. There is some sort of a sadness, especially if your mom is a fireside person. Some sort of a sadness. Some of you are open to re return and reconnect with a cancer. Is this going to happen? I see justice is going to be coming down on a cancer and a Sagittarian person. Because they have found out what these people have done. So um, Pisces, you're going to be raising from the ashes. Trust me. Resurrection, surrendering changes, the phoenix rise from the ashes, justice is here, the keeper of the scale, 12, slow and steady, win the race. So Pisces, I love, love, love this month for you. And the reason is that um, you're dealing with one person and the rest of the emotions you have to work through yourself. Okay, and um, whatever injustice that has transpired is going to be balanced. A lot of you are rising from the ashes where you got yourself connected to some sort of a negative situation because the last week they're going to be finding out uh, who is this fire sign person and uh, you're going to be successful over this person. They're going to be finding out who is this person. The phoenix rise from the ashes. So you have 11 twice, 11 twice, ladies and gentlemen, 11 twice is a powerful, powerful month, ladies and gentlemen, 11 twice and three. So double, double, double energy. Oh my God. 11, 11 and three, the universe is saying and giving you a message, ladies and gentlemen, Use the month of November to go within and connect with your mighty I am's present self. Um, say to the universe, call in your twin flame and soul mate, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, call in. I see a Leo is going to be going to jail. I don't know. Whoever this Leo is, whatever is transpiring, this Leo could be connected to you, Pisces. They could be going to jail. So 11, 11, 3. Hmm. That's your energy, Pisces. Gotta go, baby girls and boys. Gotta go.